What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to improve your FPS on Warzone Season 1 Caldera. All right, so first things first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is right click on your desktop, click on NVIDIA Control Panel. If you don't see that on your desktop when you right click, just go ahead and type it in here. and go ahead and open the NVIDIA control panel right there. Okay, so I'm not gonna go ahead and read off all these settings, but in order to change or manage your 3D settings, what you're gonna have to do is go into adjust image setting with preview. And usually it's gonna be on this one, or I think this bottom one, you're gonna wanna click on the use advanced 3D image settings. And then it'll allow you to edit all these settings here. All right, so I'm not gonna go ahead and read every single thing off. I'll just keep this on or take screenshots, post them on Twitter, but essentially you wanna copy and paste all of these settings here below, all right? So go ahead and uh, pause the video or take a screenshot and I'll slowly scroll through all these settings so you could copy these settings for better FPS and performance on PC. All right, so once you have those changed and adjusted, go ahead and X out. The next thing we're gonna go is go into your Modern Warfare game, and we're gonna be changing some settings and graphical settings in game. All right, so once you're in game, what you're gonna do is go into Warzone. Go ahead and close this, back out of that. And then we're gonna go into the option settings here. So we're gonna go into options, go into graphics, and under display, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and read through every single thing here because it is kind of important. Um, the most FPS you're going to get is on full screen mode. I play on a single monitor setup uh, when I stream as well. So I have to keep it on full screen borderless so I could tab out. I do have an iPad for Twitch chat, but for the best and highest FPS, you're gonna wanna keep it on full screen, all right? Display monitor should be locked. Display adapter should be your graphics card. Render resolution, this is really important. Keep it at 100. If you want higher FPS, you could lower your render resolution, but it's just gonna make your game look not great. Um, if you have a powerful CPU and GPU, you could bump this up to I believe 120 or under 120 and get not too much performance loss on it. But a good rule of thumb is keeping your render resolution at 100. So if you're playing on 1920 or 1080p, it's gonna stay at 1080p. Dynamic resolution, I keep that disabled. There is a technique where you could enable it and then set your dynamic resolution frame rate target to a certain number. But for my case, I've noticed I've been getting a, a study frames with just keeping this disabled. Aspect ratio should be automatic. Sync every frame, V-Sync. So keep this on disabled. There's been a lot of tests on whether keeping it enabled or disabled is better. Disabled seems to allow you to get more frames because the syncing, it does its best to try to sync and uh, maintain a certain level of frames. But in doing that, it uses more, I believe, CP usage. So keep that disabled. Custom frame rate, keep this on unlimited. And um, if you want to keep it on custom, you could bump it up to 300 frames, menu custom frame rate 60, out of focus frames on 30. But if you keep it on unlimited, it's not going to cap your frames. Other than that, brightness, this is a personal preference. I like playing on 55. 50 is a little too dark for me. Gamma display is standard 2.2. Um, NVIDIA highlights, keep that disabled. If you enable them, you will lose FPS. And then NVIDIA reflex low latency. I have turned this on enable plus boost, and I believe I have been getting better frames. Okay, now going into the quality settings. Field of view, 120. I play at 120. If you want higher frames, you could lower it. Camera movement, we did play with this. Um, this doesn't change frames, but this just helps with uh, movement and control um, in game. 
Uh, people tested it. Apparently, if you put it on lease, it's like less blurry and you could see players better. Streaming quality, I keep this on normal. Uh, you could keep it on low for better frames. Um, I keep it on normal. Texture resolution, keep it on low. Texture filter, anastropic is on normal. Particle quality, you could keep it on high. These next two help with frames bullet impact and sprays you want to disable that when you enable it the frame rate does go down tessellation keep it on disabled dismemberment and gore effects we keep that on disabled on texture streaming i also keep that disabled also once you set these and apply the settings you could restart shader installations and it should uh, be more stable uh, film extreme, keep it on zero. Film grain, zero. NVIDIA DLSS, I keep this on disabled. I notice my computer doesn't really like NVIDIA DLSS. I'm not sure if anyone else has had this experience, but DLSS was uh, created by NVIDIA to help boost frame rates. But apparently, I don't know, for me, these custom settings have worked far better and I'm getting stable like 150 Sometimes I'll get 175 in game. Okay, so depth of field, you want that disabled. World motion blur, disabled weapon motion blur, disabled. We knew this from season six and previous seasons that you want that disabled. Shadow map resolution, you can keep this on high. And then these two are the interesting ones where people might disable them thinking it will help frames, but apparently there's been a lot of video and a lot of studies uh, shown on how keeping these enabled actually improve frames. So cache bot shadows, you want that enabled. And then the sun shadows, you want those both enabled, not disabled. All right, particle lighting, keep it on low. Direct ray tracing, I have a 3080 Ti. Just keep that on disabled. You'll get more frames. Ambient oscillation disabled. And then this last screen space reflection, keep that on disabled. Hit apply. Okay, the last setting you want to change is for advanced user. If you don't want to change anything in your files, then don't mess with this. But this is going to help you get more frames. Is go into your folders, go into documents, click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, double click on your players folder, and then you're going to have to right click on advanced options right here. Go to properties. Be sure you have read only and hidden unchecked. And then you'll be able to open this folder right here. It's a notepad folder. What you're going to want to do is change memory scale, video memory scale to 1.2, and then your render worker count. You're going to want to follow this guide right here. If you have a, a processor with eight cores, you're going to want to split that in half. For Intel users, it's a little different. Just follow this guide, input the number of render worker counts you want and that's it x this out it's going to ask if you want to save save it if you want to lock it again right click this advanced options go into properties go ahead and click on read only only hit ok and those are going to be the best settings for warzone we'll just jump in a game real quick and i'll show you what kind of frames i'm getting in let's just say uh resurgence caldera also i do stream on twitch at moogie tv Go check me out on Twitch. Appreciate the love and support, guys. So here we go, loading in. Getting about 140. My my monitor is a 144 hertz monitor. So getting a stable 144 is pretty optimal for me. Any more, any less. Um, I don't know if I'd experience any uh, screen tearing, meaning that I'm getting too many frames per second. But this is pretty much the smoothness. I'm also running OBS in the background, recording this video. When I stream, I do notice a little more lag spikes or a little more um, frames drop just because it's a very CPU intensive game. Uh, right now I am running a uh ryzen amd ryzen 3700x so last generation ryzen 7 um i might upgrade to the 5900 if i do stay tuned there might be more content on that but this is with um texture quality on low i do have nvidia game filters on to make my colors pop and for a little more clarity and definition just because it's hard to see um people in this game but um I'm still getting about 130 at the moment. Um, the key, the interesting key with this is if I turn off NVIDIA game filters, I'll do it right now. My frames go up significantly. So right now I'm getting 160, 175 
obviously we're loading in but frames do bump up significantly and a way to combat this is if you go back into the control panel you could adjust um, image sharpening. Um, I, I couldn't personally find image sharpening, but you can change gamma. You could change, um, I believe, vibrance, maybe saturation, but it does change it for your whole monitor. That's the only problem. So I'm getting 180 frames in the airplane. We'll jump, see what we get. So right now I'm getting 175 flying in, 150. And we do have our FPS counter there. I'll kind of blow it up so you guys can see it a little better as well. But this is with the game filters off. All right. So what's interesting for me, the reason why I play with filters on is I think the drawback or the amount of the amount of visual I, I get from it. Here, we'll test it out right now. It's still at 140, 144, which is pretty good. Again, if I'm playing on like a higher refresh refresh rate um, monitor, I'm really excited to see if I get more frames or what. Okay. I just got annihilated right there. All right, so you get the idea. Um, that's uh, how to increase your frame rate in Call of Duty Warzone Season 1 Caldera. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like. Be sure to sub to the channel for more content like this, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.